Hi, we're here today to install the Dirty Dog 4x4 rear pet divider. Uh, we have a couple pet dividers for the rear. Uh, this one is a half pet divider. It goes from the top of the roll bar to about uh, six inches below the rear seats. Um, advantage and disadvantage of this one, if you leave your seats up all the time, this is great for people. You want to keep gear back there, you want to keep your dog from getting forward. This is a great uh, simple pet divider to install. Basically all it comes with is what you see is a net here and there's uh, eight shock points here and that's it. It's a pretty simple install. To get yourself set up and ready to install this, find where the Dirty Dog logo is. And this goes to the front side of the Jeep. Now this faces forward and find the center. So now you know where your center point is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around the back here and we're gonna install it like this. So I'm just gonna hop up here. Your net's gonna go basically this in front of your roll bar. And what you have, you have two of your most inner inside straps. They're gonna wrap around the roll bar. The Velcro locks. You do this side, try to center as best you can, it makes it easier if you center it now. Uh, you can use the Dirty Log logo and, and line it up with how it lines up with the light in the center of the roll bar. We'll get these two ones installed pretty simply and then we'll go through and adjust it. And maybe, and we'll show you on the inside, see what it looks like on the inside right now. Okay, so we've got these two outer, these two middle straps installed. Your Dirty Dog logo is right here in the center. You can use your uh, your light here to help center you and get you in the right position. You get this in the right position, everything else will flow along easily in place. Your next step is another strap further on each side. Same thing, they're going to wrap around the Velcro strap through the loop. Tighten up like that. Next one down. It's going to go on the outside. Now with mine is a little trickier here because I've got a truck top, but it'll still work. Just got to make some room for it. The strap will connect, go through the loop, pull around, and tighten it up. So that's your one side installed. We've got one more strap. We'll go around and do the other two straps on the other side, get everything positioned properly. We're going to install the two more Velcro straps here. Again, put it over top. Tighten your strap along. Put it there. Another good orientation too is this top strap should basically run parallel with the top of your roll bar. So we've got the last strap here. Again, this one goes on the on the side roll bar. Goes to the footman loop, the, uh, the loop. Pull it through. Give it a little tighten. Okay, and your final strap is this one on this side. I shouldn't say it's your final strap, but it's the final strap of this step. We'll put her in here. And I've got the track top, so it's a little trickier to get the strap around, but it goes on no problem. You've got one strap left here on this side. This one wraps to the from the outside of the roll bar in just a different orientation. The way it goes. Same thing, it straps there. Just so it hangs positionally, sometimes you gotta slide it back a bit, get in the right position. We're gonna go around and do it on this side as well. And here's the final strap on this side. Wrap around the outside of the roll bar this time. Feed it through the loop. And it'll sit there. And that one's all installed. Now you've got to uh, work on the bottom here. In the bag here you have uh, eight shock cords, two long ones and six short ones. The two long ones are pretty simple. They're gonna grab on the grommet there, hook on the back of the, the hook on the back of the seat. Same with this one here. Hook on the back of the seat. Those ones are done. Now you're gonna go around the side and hook on your short ones. Okay, now we're gonna install the lower shock cords here. There's just two on each side. Uh, they go on pretty simple. Uh, you take a shock cord, you put it in the bottom corner. You gotta wrap it around the doorkeeper inside here. And don't worry, this is not gonna get in the way of opening and closing your door. Jeep was lucky enough, to, nice enough to leave a space for us to do this. And you just hook it back into the same loop and it just goes there like that. And this one just adds an extra, extra strap of security. Tie it in that one, same thing, just connect it onto the, to the doorkeeper. And that's you repeat on both sides. Uh, we have installed here our half Dirty Dog pet dividers. You can see it stops at the uh, about six inches below the top of the seat here, eight inches below the top of the seat. The advantage of this one is basically is you can put your seat down and your dog can pass through or you can pass things through. This strap comes out of the way so you can get it through. 
Um, you really don't have to ever remove it. And the seat goes locked back in place. Um, probably one of the, the drawbacks, unfortunately, with this one as opposed to our other pet dividers is you have this space here. So if you're using it for a dog and you have a dog that really um, is a bit of a escape artist, he's gonna be able to get himself through the side here. This is better, more for a dog that probably won't necessarily jump forward, but uh, you want to keep it, or if you just want to keep your cargo, it's a great when you go camping. You want to load all your cargo up here and you're going wheeling. You don't want your stuff falling forward in the front seats. This works perfect as something like that. Um, this one, you can use your seatbelts around it. You'll just have to put your seatbelts in front of the shock cords. You still can use the seatbelts. Again, this is uh, more of a basic pet divider. Uh, we have two other dividers as well for this that you'll see and uh, how they work, work quite well with uh, all applications.